saying their last minute prayers as they just about getting ready to go on. But here, let's give you the starting lineup first. Uh, St. Benedict's, uh, they start with Thay and Devonish in goal. There's Alexander, Dimas, Grant, Morian, Morris, Niles, Ochoa, Pear, Webb, and Williams. The coach is Randolph Boyce. Let's have a look at the formation. Well, there's some changes within the back four. Alexander comes in to play in that centre-half position. Morian, of course, a regular right-back, plays at that holding midfield. And, of course, the trickery of Niles and the execution of Grant will be needed today for St. Benedict's College. Well, let's have a look at the Naparima starting lineup, And, uh, of course, they start with uh, Therese Romain. There's skipper Rajun, Pascal, Cooper, Bailey, Francis, Callis, Panto, Alexander, Forbes, France, and the coach is Travis Mullerin. Well, the back four will be marshaled by Cooper, a man with uh, top-level experience. Pascal and Rajun expect him to anchor the middle of the park, and the goals will be expected to flow. Real excitement here from the very first whistle as referee Timothy Derry sent proceedings away. And Naparima were on the ascendancy. They took the early game to St. Benedict's. There was a chance for Benedict's. It went just wide. Then we had, again, a header from Forbes going over the bar. And St. Benedict's with their chance. And all of a sudden, St. Benedict's starting to pile on the pressure on Naparima. The free kick coming in and scoring the goal was Jones, but it was not given as offside. Then the equalizer, Kanu. Kanu Morian made it to all. And then Malachi Webb put the icing on the cake when he scored from a rebound. It was initially a very good save by the keeper. It came back to Malachi Webb and he slotted it into the back of the net to have the St. Benedict's fans jumping for joy all over uh, this uh, Lois Street venue. And all of a sudden, St. Benedict's, they were in the lead at three goals to two. And then there is the ball coming off of Hills onto the body of Webb. And the rebound from the keeper was put away from Malachi by Malachi Webb to make it St. Benedict's three to two. And for all the pressing Naparima press, they just could not get back in the game. So, again, we saw in the end, they tried for all they were with the shot coming from Francis over the bar. And there was the final whistle. You saw the joy, the joy of the St. Benedict supporters. They were all over the field. Uh, let's uh, go across to Brent with a look at the stats. He's got hands with him. We are here on the pitch, Brent Sancho, looking at the statistics. What does it say about today's great game? Well, of course, the main stat is the one up top. Uh, St. Benedict's are winning by three goals to two. Of course, six shots by Napoli McCollins, eight by St. Benedict's. Uh, of course, two of those six on target, four from St. Benedict's on target. As we scroll down, of course, from a card's perspective, three from Napoli two for St. Benedict's College and offsides. Three in total, two for Naprima, one for St. Benedict's College. Six saves collectively, of course, uh, at the bottom, 51%, which is a very interesting yeah. answer, because when we looked at the first half, it was more of a Naprima show. That, that turned, of course, uh, in a significant way in the second half, and that buoyed St. Benedict's eventually Indeed. to a win. Indeed, well, Leo Chin, he is with the man of the match for today's game. Leo. I am match himself, Malakai is your trophy, well deserved, and congrats on the winner. Not only did you get player of the match, you also scored the winning goal. How pleased are you with your performance today? First of all, I want to thank God, because without God, I would not do it. And I'm very grateful because I work real hard pre-season, and the, um, the award comes. So. Absolutely. And you all were trailing in the first half, down 2-1. Um, what was the coach's message, halftime, for you all to be motivated to win the game in the second half? Coach, tell us to put out the instruction saying, um, just to keep the ball and go forward with a purpose. And that's what we did, and we can execute that very well. Nice. And finally, how confident are you all going into your next fixture? We are very confident. We are working very hard in training. 
and we, we, we are very, very, very happy to go forward. Great, Malika. You heard it from the man of the match himself. We now go over to Brent with the coaches. Coach, of course, a disappointing result. Taylor, two halves. What's your assessment of the night? My assessment, uh, this game boils down to tactical disobedience. You know, I envy coaches who have players who are trusting in their philosophy and following instructions as best as they could. You know, we have guys who, some of the guys played in the TTPFL League One, and I think that they think that they are a bit too big for this level of football. So I think going forward, we'll have to go with the younger guys and try to teach them to play the right way. Well, I know the last time you, you were here on these cameras, you talked about complacency. I think you're pointing towards that. And of course, maybe a change as you go along. There were some results that went your way. So there's still the league title to play for. How do you pick your charges up moving forward? Well, we have to take it one game at a time. It's a very disappointing result, but we can't do anything about it. So we just have to move forward, plan for the next game, and see how best we can go forward. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best for the rest Thank of the you. season. Coach, obviously, Coach, obviously, a lot of conversation has been about the way your team started. Since then, you've not been, since the first two games you've lost, you've not been defeated. You're now going on a charge, a big victory here against Aparima College. What's your assessment of this 90 minutes? Well, <laughs> well, the game was a game at two half. The first half, we were a little cagey, but not brave enough going forward. Um, we defended solid in the first half, but I realized we had to make a technical adjustment in the way we attack and be a little more brave going forward. And that paid off for us in the second half. Well, of course, a big result for you here moving forward. You know, your team needed that sort of confidence going forward. How do you prepare for the rest of the season? Oh, well, one game at a time because, <laughs> as you can see, in this league, it doesn't matter which party is on the table. Anybody, it looked like this year could beat anybody. <laughs> so we had to bring them back down to earth, get ourselves organized, and look at preparation for the Saturday game. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. No problem. Yeah.